The basic configuration options for customizing your ShopperPress theme can all be found in the admin area of WordPress. To start with, let's look at changing your website template. We do this in the admin area under ShopperPress menu options, number one, general setup, and under the system setup tab, we go down to website design, and here you'll notice a list of different integrated themes. You simply select the one you want for your website, click on save changes, and then refresh your website. Now we can customize the home page images. In the admin area, under one, general setup, and under the system setup tab once again, scrolling down the page. At the bottom of this page, you notice more options. You can create your own graphics, upload it to your website, and then simply using the view uploaded images, select the image you want to replace. All of the PSD files for correct sizes can be found in the VIP members area. If you make a mistake and wish to go back to the default image, simply delete the one you've added and click on save changes. All of the child themes for ShopperPress are stored in the themes folder within the actual ShopperPress theme folder itself. So for example on the left hand side here you can see all of the files once again for the ShopperPress theme. You will notice there is a folder called themes. Inside this folder are all of the child themes for ShopperPress. If you wish to create your own ShopperPress theme, simply create a new folder and insert it inside this themes folder. In the admin area of ShopperPress, under one general setup, the website design will list all of the folders found within the themes folder of ShopperPress. Each theme folder has a CSS and image folder within it. And if you wish to overwrite any of the default pages of ShopperPress, for example the home page, the footer, the sidebars, etc., you can add your own custom files within the theme folder. If you wish to edit the CSS style sheet for any of the themes, you will need to locate the theme within the themes folder of ShopperPress. For example, in front of me we have the flower shopper theme, which can be found within the main themes folder of ShopperPress, then themes, and then browsing down you can find the flower shopper theme. All of the home page graphics and default graphics can be found within the image folder. And then the CSS style sheet for this child theme can be found here. All of the ShopperPress themes have a header and a footer. These can be customized by editing the header and the footer files respectively. If for example you open the header file, you may see the code presented in front of me. There is a combination of PHP and if you scroll down you can see the HTML code for the actual header sections. Here you can find the header parts, the main body parts, including the logo area where you can customize the logo if you require to, the banner sections, search boxes if it's displayed on the top, the navigation bars, and the left hand side column setups. If you wish to remove any of the content, for example, the copyright on the footer, you simply open the footer file, scrolling down, 
you can remove the copyright code. You can also add your own links and content to the footer file as required. The gallery and search pages on your ShopperPress website display all of the products listed on your site. If you wish to edit the gallery page in general, you can edit the gallery.php file. Here we get the list box at the top. The main title for the category. We then display in the additional list boxes and build the query string for getting the product posts. We can then start looping through and displaying the actual products. The products themselves are stored in a different file called item.php. This file gets the data from the post in the admin to be displayed on the actual product itself. So we can get, for example, the price, the quantity, etc. The ShopperPress product page is generated from the file called single.php. This page initially grabs all of the data about the product, assigns it to the array item, and then throughout the page displays the necessary information. You can go through the page, removing any of the code you do not need, however it is recommended to ensure you make a backup first. There are comments throughout the code, so you can easily see which part assigns to which page. All of the design images for ShopperPress are stored in the ShopperPress images folder. All of the unique themes and child theme template images are stored in their each templates and themes image folder respectively. The product images that are uploaded to ShopperPress are initially stored in the thumbs folder. If you're uploading any CSV files or data import files, also the thumbs folder is the location to add them. All of the scripts and JavaScript files are stored in the scripts folder, and any of the admin files are stored in the functions folder. The rest of the files are used to display the general setup of ShopperPress, including template files which begin with the name TPL. So if you're looking to customize the account pages, checkout pages, contact pages, etc., they can all be found with a TPL. Any of the files in this folder can all be edited from the admin area of WordPress under Appearance, Editor, and on the right-hand side, you can edit all of the files that are initially found in this folder.